Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have an ATP 500 event this week in Washington. It's one of the US Open series events that is a big event, and we've got some big names playing, but we do have some names that are pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So we've got a long withdrawal list here. Hubie Hercash, the Miami Open champion. He's pulled out. John Isner's also out. Karatsev, Hashinov, Kopfa, Kwan, Munair, Pella, Ramos Vinoles, Raonic, and Shapovalov have all pulled out of this one. Starting at the top of the draw, we have 16 seeds in this event, and all the seeds get a buy in the first round. Rafa Nadal, he's the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Jack Sock, the wild card, versus Nishioka. So a very interesting matchup if we can get Sock versus Nadal. You guys know that we love Jack Sock on this channel. Very interested to see if he can get the win and play against Rafa. Then we've got Sangren versus Duckworth. Winner of that match plays the number 14 seed Harris in the second round. Then we've got the number nine seed Bublik getting a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Nishikori versus Query, which is a great first round matchup. Circle that one as one to watch in the first round. Then we have Giron versus a qualifier. Fire. Winner of that match takes on the number seven seed, Cam Norrie, who has been in good form of late. So the players I'm watching out for here, obviously we're watching out for Rafa Nadal. He hasn't played since the French Open where he lost to Novak Djokovic. So want to see how he does on the hard courts this week. Also interested to see how Nishikori does this week after a pretty good run at the Olympics, getting to the quarterfinals, eventually losing to Novak Djokovic. And of course, Jack Sock. I want to see what he can do this week. Still on the comeback trail in the singles, Jack Sock. So want to see how he can do and see if he can actually play Rafa in that second round. Be a very fun matchup to see. Second quarter of the draw now. We've got the number four seed, Dimitrov. He gets a buy in the first round. He plays the winner of Jurisimov or Avashka, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got McDonald versus Kyrgios, the defending champion. Winner of that match takes on the number 13 seed, Benoit Pair, in the second round. Then we've got the number 10 seed, Fritz, getting a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Kudla versus the wild card Lopez, Feli Lopez, in the second round. Then we've got another wild card, Nakashima, who's been in great form over the last couple of weeks. He takes on Alexi Poprin. Winner of that match takes on the number six seed, Dan Evans. So players I'm watching out for in this part of the draw, Dan Evans. We haven't seen much of him lately. He hasn't been playing that well of late. But remember, he did beat Novak Djokovic only a couple of months ago. So I want to see how he can do back on the hard courts. Nick Kyrgios, the defending champion. Got to see how he does in this event. Even though he is unseeded, he has got a pretty good draw. And also Nakashima, who's made back-to-back -back finals on hard courts over the last couple of weeks. So very interested to see how he does in an event with a stacked lineup of players. Going to the third quarter of the draw now, we've got the number five seed Sinner getting a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or Rusevori in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on Pospisil. Winner of that match takes on the number 12 seed, Sebastian Korda. Then we've got the number 15 seed, Kecmenovic. He awaits the winner of another qualifier who takes on Barenkis in the first round. Then we've got Johnson versus another qualifier stacked with qualifiers in this part of the draw. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Alex Diminor. So players I'm watching out for, definitely watching out for Diminor and Sinner, the two big seeds in this one. But also interested to see how Korda does as well because he's had some of his best results on the hard courts this year and all of those players are young players so they're next generation players so this part of the draw is full of qualifiers but also full of next gen players so i want to see how those next gen players can do in a tournament where they're actually the favorites to get through this part of the draw and the final quarter of the draw we have the number eight seed opelka gets a buy in the first round he awaits the winner of paul versus gallon who are going at it in the first round then we've got a qualifier versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on the number 11 seed, Milman, in the second round. Then we've got the number 16 seed, TFO. Again, buying the first round. He awaits the winner of Anderson versus the wildcard, Brooksby, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Uchiyama versus Seppi. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Felix Oje Aliasim. So players I'm looking out for, gotta look out for FAA. Has had mixed results this season, some really, really good results, but then also some poor results. And being the number two seed, a lot of expectation on him this week. Also seeing how Opelka does this week, because back in America on the hard courts, See how Riley Opelka can actually dominate using that big serve. And he's got a pretty good draw, so I expect that he should make it to the next part of the rounds. And also Kevin Anderson, a very dangerous unseated player, of course. Former US Open finalist from a few years ago. So really want to see how Anderson does in this tournament. So there it is, the Washington Open, the City Open, an ATP 500 event. And we've got some big names playing. We've got Kyrgios, we've got Rafa, we've got Felix Ogieli Asim. Some big names are playing in the continuation of the US Open series. Of course, these are all warm-up tournaments going into the US Open at the end of the month. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? Because Rafa is really the standout 
in the top 10. Of course, he's the only top 10 player playing this event, and then it kind of drops off. But do you think someone else can maybe sneak through the draw? Maybe a Kyrgios, or maybe another unseated player. Maybe Kevin Anderson can do something. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? So having a look at the draw, and it's very hard not to pick Rafa, but I'm going to have to go with Alex Dimonor to win this one. I think he's played well at this tournament before. Actually made the final back in 2018, losing to Alexander Zverev. So I'm going to go with Alex Dimonor to win this tournament. I think that it's set up for him. He's got a good draw as well. And the key is that he won't have to play Rafa Nadal until the finals. So he avoids playing Rafa until the very last stage. And who knows how Rafa's going to go because we haven't seen him for a long, long time, especially on the hard court. So I'm going to go with Dimonor to win this one, the number three seed. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? So Rafa's back this week in Washington on the hard courts. How's he going to do at the US Open though? 